Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm a say customary blessing. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, or Adonai Eloheinu, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Eloheinu, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we, in our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you. Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel, blessed are you, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, give her the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is a little bit of a doozy. We have... Hang on. Computer. There we go. Exodus 6, 2 through 9, 35. Elohim spoke to Moses and said to him, I am Yahuwah. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as Elohim Almighty. But by my name, Yahuwah, I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of which they lived as sojourners. Moreover, I heard the groaning of the people of Israel, when, whom the Egyptians hold as slaves. And I have remembered my covenant. Say therefore to the people of Israel, I am Yahweh, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I'll deliver you from the slave, from slavery to them, and I'll redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great, great acts of judgment. I'll take you to be my people, and I'll be your Elohim, and you shall know that I am Yahweh your Elohim, who has brought you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I'll bring you into the land that the that I swore to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I'll give it to you for a possession. I am Yahweh. Moses spoke thus to the people of Israel, but they did not listen to Moses because of their broken spirit and harsh slavery. So Yahweh said to Mos Moses, Go and tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let the people of Israel go out of his land. But Moses said to Yahweh, Behold, the people of Israel have not listened to me. How then shall Pharaoh listen to me? For I am uncircumcised lips. But Yahweh spoke to Moses and Aaron and gave them a charge about the people of Israel and about Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt. These are the heads of the father's houses, the son of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanak, Palu, Hezra, Camri. These are the clans of Reuben, the sons of Simeon, Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Jachin, Zohar, and Shal, the son of the Canaanite woman. These are the clans of Simeon. These are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations. Gershon, Kohath, Merari. These are the lives of Levi being, the years of the life of Levi being, 137. The sons of Gershon, Libni, Shim, Shimi, by their clans. The sons of Kohath, Amran, Ishar, Hebron and Usiel. The years of the life of Kohath being 133, the sons of Merari, Mahli, and Mushi. These are the clans of Levites according to their generations. Amri took as his wife Jochebed, his father's sister, and she bore him Aaron and Moses. The years of life of Amram being 137. The sons of Isar, Kor, Nepheg, Zikri, the sons of Usiel, Mishiel, Elzaphan, and Sithri. Aaron took as his wife Elisheba, the daughter of Amenabad, the sister of Nashon. She bore him Nabed, Abihu, Eliezer, in Ithamar, the sons of Korah, Asar, Elkanah, and Abysavith. These are clans of the Horophites. Horahites. Eliezer's son, Aaron's son, took as his wife one of the daughters of Putiel, and she bore him Phine Phineas. And these are the heads of the fathers of the house of Levites by their clans. These are the Aaron and Moses to whom Yahweh said, Bring out the people of Israel. 
and the, from the land of Egypt by their hosts. It was they who spoke to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, about bringing out the people of Israel from Egypt, this Moses and this Aaron. On the day when Yahweh spoke to Moses in the land of Egypt, Yahweh said to Moses, I am Yahweh. Tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say to you. But Moses said to Yahweh, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips. How will Pharaoh listen to me? And Yahweh said to Moses, See, I have made you like Elohim to Pharaoh, and your brother Aaron shall be your prophet. You shall speak all that I command you. And your brother Aaron shall tell Pharaoh to let the people of Israel go out of his land. But I will harden Pharaoh's heart. And though I multiply my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, Pharaoh will not listen to you. Then I will lay my hand on Egypt and bring my host, my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great acts of judgment. The Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh. When I stretch out my hand against Egypt and bring out the people of Israel among them, from among them, Moses and Aaron did so. They did just as Yahweh commanded. Now Moses was 80 years old and Aaron 83 years old when they spoke to Pharaoh. Then Yahweh said to Moses and Aaron, When Pharaoh says to you, Prove yourself by working a miracle, then you shall say to Aaron, Take off your staff and cast it down before the Pharaoh that it may become a serpent. So Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and did just as Yahweh commanded Aaron, cast down his staff before Pharaoh and his servants, and it, be <laughs> and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh summoned the wise men and sorcerers, and they, the magic magicians of Egypt also did the same by their secret arts. For each man cast down his staff, and they became servants, but Aaron's staff swallowed up their staffs. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them. As Yahweh had said. Then Yahweh said to Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hardened. He refused to let the people go. So go to Pharaoh in the morning, as he is going out to the water. Stand on the bank of the Nile to meet him, and take your hand the staff that turned into a serpent, and you shall say to him, Yahweh the Elohim of Hebrews sent me to you, saying, Let my people go, that he may serve me in the wilderness. But so far you have not obeyed. Thus says Yahweh, by this you shall know that I am Yahweh. Behold, with this staff that is in my hand, I will strike the water that is in the Nile, and it shall turn to blood. The fish of the Nile shall die, and the Nile will stink, and the Egyptians will go weary of drinking the water from the Nile. Then Yahweh said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Take your staff and stretch, it, stretch out your hand over the waters of Egypt, over their rivers, their canals, and their ponds, and all the, their pools of water, so that they may become blood. And there shall be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, even in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. Moses and Aaron did as Yahweh commanded. In the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants, he lifted up his staff and struck the water in the Nile. And all the water in the Nile turned into blood. And the fish in the Nile died. And the Nile stank, so that the Egyptians could not drink water from the Nile. There was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. But the magicians of Egypt did the same by their secret arts. So Pharaoh's heart remained hardened, and he would not listen to them as Yahweh had said. Pharaoh turned and went into his house. He did not take even this to heart. And all the Egyptians dug along the Nile for water to drink, and they could not drink the water from the Nile. Seven full days passed after Yahweh had struck the Nile. Then Yahweh said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says Yahweh, Let my people go, that they may serve me. But if you refuse to let them go, behold, I will plague all your country with frogs. Then I shall swarm with frogs that shall come up into your houses and into your bedrooms and on your bed and into your houses of your servants and your people and into your ovens and into your kneading bowls. The frogs shall come up on you and on your people and on your servants. And Yahweh said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your hand. With your staff over the rivers, and over the canals, and over the pools, and make the frogs come up on the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the, land, the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. But the magicians did the same thing by their secret arts, and made the frogs come up on the, on, the, on the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called Moses... And Aaron has said, Plead with Yahweh to take away the frogs from me, and send and from my people, and I'll let the people go sacrifice to Yahweh. Moses said to Pharaoh, Be pleased to command me when I am 
to plead for you and for your servants and for your people that the frogs be cut off from you and your houses and be left only in the Nile. <coughs> Excuse me. And he said, Tomorrow Moses said, Be as you say, so that you know so that you may know that there is no one like Yahweh our Elohim. The frogs shall go away from you, and your houses and your servants and your people. They shall be left only in the Nile. So Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried to Yahweh about the frogs. As he agreed with Pharaoh, and Yahweh did according to the words of Moses. The frogs died out in the houses, the courtyards, and the field, and they gathered them together in heaps in the land sink. But when Pharaoh saw was respite, he hardened his heart and would not listen to them, as Yahweh had said. Then Yahweh said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your sand, strike the dust of the earth, so that it may become gnats in all the land of Egypt. And they did so. Aaron stretched out his hand with his staff and struck the dirt, the dust of the earth. And there were gnats on man and beast. All the dust of the earth became gnats in all the land of Egypt. The Egyptians tried their secret arts to produce gnats, but they could not. So there were gnats on man and beast. Then the magician said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of Elohim. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to him, as Yahweh had said. Then Yahweh said to Moses, Rise up early in the morning and present yourself to Pharaoh. As he goes out to the water and say to him, Thus says Yahweh, Let my people go, that they may serve me, or else I will not let my people go. Behold, I will send swarms of flies on you, and your servants, and your, and your people, and into your houses, and the houses of the Egyptians shall be fair filled with swarms of flies, and also the ground on which they stand. But on that day I will set apart the land of Goshen, where my people dwell, so that no swarms of, of flies shall be there, that you may know that I am El Yahweh in the midst of the earth, that I will put a division between my people and your people. Tomorrow this shine shall happen. And Yahweh did so. There came great swarms of flies into the houses of Pharaoh, into the house of Pharaoh, and into his servants' houses throughout all the land of Egypt. The land was ruined by the swarm of flies. Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and said, Go sacrifice to your Elohim within the land. But Moses said it would not be right to do so. For the offering we shall sacrifice to Yahweh and Elohim are an abomination to the Egyptians. If we sacrifice offerings abominable to the Egyptians before their eyes, they will they will will they not stone us? We must go three days journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to Yahweh our Elohim as he tells us. So Pharaoh said, I will let you go to sacrifice to Yahweh your Elohim in the wilderness. Only you must not go very far. Plead for me. Then Moses said, Behold, I am going out. From you and I will plead with Yahweh that the swarms of flies may depart from Pharaoh, from his servants and from his people tomorrow. Only not Pharaoh cheat again by not letting the people go to sacrifice to Yahweh. So Moses went out from Pharaoh and prayed to Yahweh. Yahweh did as Moses asked and removed the swarms of flies from Pharaoh, from his servants and from his people. Not one remained but Pharaoh hardened his heart this time also. It did not let the people go. Then Yahweh said to Moses, Go and Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says Yahweh the Elohim of the Hebrews, Let my people go that they may serve me. For if you refuse to let them go and still hold them, behold, the hand of, of Yahweh will fall with a very severe plague upon your livestock that are in the field, the horses, the donkeys, the camels, and the herds, and the flocks. But Yahweh will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and the livestock of Egypt, so that nothing of all that belongs to the people of Israel shall die. And Yahweh set a time, saying, Tomorrow Yahweh will do this thing in the land, and the next day Yahweh did this thing. All the livestock of the Egyptians died, but not one of the livestock of the people of Israel died. And Pharaoh set and behold, not one of the livestock of Israel was dead, but the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. And Yahweh said to Moses and Aaron, Take handfuls of soot from the kiln, and let Moses throw them in the air in the sight of Pharaoh. And it shall become a fine dust over all the land of Egypt, and become boils, breaking out in sores on man and beast throughout all the land of Egypt. 
So they took soot from the kiln and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses threw it in the air, and it became boils breaking out and sores on man and beast. The magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boils came upon the magicians and upon all the Egyptians. But Yahweh hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he did not listen to them, as Yahweh had spoken to Moses. <coughs> Then Yahweh said to Moses, Rise up early in the morning and present yourself before Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says Yahweh, the Elohim of the Hebrews, Let my people go that they may serve me. For this time I will send all my plagues upon all my all my plagues on yourself and on your servants and on your people that you may know that there is none like me in all the land in all the earth. For now I could have put out my hand and struck you and your people with pestilence. And you would have been cut off from the earth, but for this purpose I have raised you up to show you my power, that my name may be proclaimed in all the earth. You are still exalting yourself against my people and will not let them go. Behold, around this time, about this time tomorrow, I'll cause heavy hail to fall. Never such as has been seen in Egypt from the day it was founded until now. Now therefore. Get your livestock and all that you have in the fields in a safe shelter, for every man and beast that is in the field is not brought home will die when the hail falls on him. Then whoever feared the words of Yahuwah among the servants and of Pharaoh hurried his slaves and the livestock into the houses. But whoever did not pay attention to the word of Yahuwah left his slaves and his livestock in the field. Then Yahweh said to Moses, Stretch out your hand towards heaven that they, so that they, there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, on man and beasts and every plant in the field, in all the land of Egypt. Then Moses stretched out his staff toward heaven, and Yahweh sent thunder and hail, and fire ran down to the earth. And Yahweh rained down, and Yahweh ran hail upon the land of Egypt. There was hail and fire coming continuously in the midst of the hail. Very heavy hail, such as had never been in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. The hail struck down everything that was in the field in all the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And the hail struck down every plant of the field and broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the people of Israel were, was there no hail. Then Pharaoh sent and called Moses and Aaron and said to them, this time I have sinned. Yahweh is in the right, and I and my people are in the wrong. Plead with Yahweh, for there has been enough of Elohim's thunder and hail. I'll let you go, and you shall stay no longer. Moses said to him, As soon as I have gone out of the city, I'll stretch out my hands to Yahweh. The thunder will cease, and there will be no more hail, so that you may know that the earth is Yahweh's. But as for you and your servants, I know that you do not fear, yet fear Yah Yahweh Elohim. The flax and the barley were struck down, for the barley was in the ear, and the flax was in the bud. But the wheat and the emmer were not struck down, for they are late in coming up. So Moses went out of the city of Pharaoh, and stretched out his hands to Yahweh. And the thunder and hail ceased, and, no, and the rain no longer poured upon the earth. But when Pharaoh saw the rain and the hail and the thunder had ceased, he sinned yet again and hardened his heart. He and his servants, so that... So the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people of Israel go, just as Yahweh had spoken. <coughs> Blessed art thou, Lord, uh, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who gives the Torah of Jews to serve everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Brukatah Adonai Elohim, Malakalom, Ashna. Thank you for listening to the Torah.